Hi, I'm Daisy Bell, and this is my Evermix Spotlight session. I had a friend who had parties. He just threw me in the deep end, and he said the best way to learn was to actually just play out. I would describe the music I play as very Chicago, Detroit style house. I love acid, but I like disco as well, so there needs to be some sort of emotion behind it, some like groove, something to make me feel something. I really love the uh, Cielo Club in New York. I would love to play for Louis Vega's Night Roots. Musically, it's very on trend to what I play. Club culture for me, it's really changed. Like, it's it, there's barely any parties I can think of that it's not about the DJs. I used to go out to the Cross all the time, the Key and Canvas, those three clubs, Fabric, the, the End, and I used to go for the music. I All of the DJs were unknowns. None of them were big, and the music was great, and the music was what kept bringing me back. But that there is there isn't that culture anymore. You know, I think that there is a huge leap between EDM and like actual good house music. The whole thing about house is like you connect with it and it just makes you feel something. At least the kind of house that I like. Record mixes. It helps you track your progression as an artist, like see how, how your sound has changed as well and how you've improved. The Evermix box has been super useful. You, know, you get a great quality recording, a very cool toy. I think it's super important for the modern DJ to produce tracks. Because of how bookings work, people are going to see DJs whose music they know. My advice for trying to get your track signed onto labels would probably be first make a list of the labels that you think suit your track. Aim high for sure, send them to some big labels, but also to some smaller labels. It's important to have made an effort to meet someone or connect with them before sending them your stuff. Um, they're more likely to listen to it. Don't be deterred if you don't hear back straight away or if you don't hear back at all. Um, there's also the option nowadays with Bandcamp where you can self-release. Loads of artists do, do it, invest in like promo and stuff. Don't be scared of rejection because there's a lot of it. <laughs> um, but you just have to just know that you're doing what you love. Don't quit. <laughs>